What is up everybody? It is the True Epic Gamer here and we are back with another UFO 50 guide, this time back on Mortal. If you guys watched my video yesterday, you'll see I had a video titled Mortal Flawless Level 1A. And this turned out to be so far from flawless that it is not even funny. Like, so far, it was plus 16. I got it all the way to plus 21 just from listening to you guys in the comments and checking out and going back, learning new mechanics. And I just gotta say, guys, this game can be as complex as you can possibly imagine with some of the mechanics that you need to use if you wanna get the perfect run on each level. With that being said, this game can be as easy as you want it to be if your goal is to one, beat the game, or two, get the cherry. It's really one of the easier cherries, and I'm not even kidding guys, whenever I went back and optimized level one and level two, that's all it took for me to go beat the final boss and get the cherry, just from optimizing two levels, that's it. So I decided to step back, do what I'm good at, make guides on how to beat the games, how to get the cherries on the game, and don't worry about perfect runs anymore because I quickly found out that that is not my cup of tea right there. So I don't wanna waste any more of you guys' time, so let's dive right into level 1A. The first thing I wanna mention for those of you guys who are beginners to this is that for every three enemies that you kill, you get an extra life. So anytime you're gonna to have to kill yourself anyway, make sure that you're taking out an enemy or multiple enemies with you if you can. Also, you seen early on there, I chained together two movements. That's a thing that I actually went through the entire game without realizing that I could do. So what you can do is you can arrow, then you can stone, and believe it or not, you can arrow out of the stone again. This part right here, you can make it very complicated if you're going for plus 21. If you're going for plus 21, you have to hit the arrow in that exact spot right there. And you have to have your spaceship high enough up to land on it. But if you want to do it the easy way, just arrow from the upper platform, arrow from the lower platform, and you can jump up with just wasting two lives. Right there, if you want it the optimal way, you have to stone down, take out three enemies, and then blow up at the bottom. Or you can just blow up the three enemies up top and you're good to go. Nothing too special here. You always see I'm always taking out enemies when I have the chance. Even with that one stone right there, I took out an enemy when I dropped it. And same thing here, I'm gonna move the screen to the far right, blow up those two enemies, and you don't technically need a platform down here because you're actually able to parachute to the side and continue on. The only reason you see me standing around right there is because I'm waiting for that spawner to be at a certain spot. Once again, you guys don't need to worry about it unless you're going for plus 21 or higher. The main thing in this position is as you've seen, my spaceship was in the top left corner, and you need to make sure it's there so that way when you respawn, you're already up there with that plus five lives. That is very important. Plus fives are huge if you want to try and go for the cherry. This right here is another spot where I learned something from you commenters down below. And that is that I what I had been doing was stoning down onto the spikes and then blowing up. But as you can see, we can just glide in right next to the spikes and we're good to go and reaching the end of the level, jump up, arrow, explode, make sure you're high enough that you get one block up here so you can go down. And that is hopefully for you guys somewhere around plus 20 lives. It's really not too difficult to get somewhere around plus 20, plus 19. It's when you wanna go higher than that that it gets really complicated. Now, moving along to level 1B, this level can be slightly more complicated than the first, but you can actually get a lot more lives in this level. What you see me doing right here is if you look to the far right, whenever I jump up, I'm actually releasing those blocks and it's destroying those enemies, those flying bugs. And you can do that three times to get an extra life, but then the little spawner will stop because they don't want you to just be able to get infinite lives. Nothing too complicated here, just time your jumps properly. Up here, if you're really going for each and every single life, what you wanna do is you wanna jump to the left twice, arrow, and then stone down at the perfect time. You take out three enemies, therefore meaning you basically didn't waste any lives at all. For this part here, I just jump and explode because we wanna take this top path. And this took me longer to figure out than I'd like to admit, but if you arrow into that wall, it creates a little staircase causing that pig to go down 
and he will activate this switch for you. That's very important for later on, but for now, grab that plus five. I recommend blowing up and taking out those three pigs, just because if not, they're kind of a pain. And remember, anytime you can take out three enemies at once, it's a free explosion. Continuing on, just time your jumps properly here, nothing too complicated. With these guys, they rush at you really quickly, so just make sure you get out of the way as quick as you can. We come all the way to the right, we blow up, hopefully getting some enemies with us if you can. Don't worry about the bricks because you can fly all the way to that plus three and you are good to go. Next up, we take out the enemy, explode the bricks. For this part here, I recommend either coming over here, doing a stone, or you can do an arrow, whichever way you prefer. Just make sure you're quick enough when you jump over the sky that he doesn't get you. Now for this little switch, you need to jump up and let your dead body land on it because if you stone, there will be no way for you to get through this little hole. Grab that plus five, continue on. Now we want to trap this big dinosaur looking guy. Just bait him into this little hole, jump over him, no problem. With this switch, walk to your left and blow up so you don't kill the pig. That saves you one life right there because that pig is going to walk back and forth and he's going to activate the switch for you. It is a little bit annoying though because it takes him forever to get where he needs to be. And if you remember from earlier when we let that pig down early on with that arrow, that is what gets us to this plus five, which is why it's so important. Now we jump down here. We leave a stone to block the dinosaur from later on. That way, whenever we go down there the second time, we can get that plus 10 get up without him being a problem whatsoever. And that's pretty much it, guys. Once again, these are not flawless runs, but they are very, very good runs that are going to get you a ton of lives. Probably, my guess is once we get done with each level, we're going to end it with somewhere over 150 lives at the last level which is gonna be well over the amount you need to get the cherry or to beat the game, obviously. But to be honest with you, it's just a lot of fun to go through and optimize these levels. So I'm gonna keep making these videos. I'm not gonna go back to the perfect level videos just cause for one, they're extremely difficult. And for two, it's just not what most of you guys are looking for. So I hope I helped you guys out today. Make sure to leave a comment if there's any of the games in UFO 50 that you wanna see next. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, peace.